Okay everyone, I'm gonna film my haul for the month of December and this, I know it's not the end of December yet, but um, I just wanted to get all of it out there and I also had a few regret purchases this month so I wanted to show you guys those purchases as well. Yeah. I'm gonna try everything on except maybe the regret purchases but I will explain why I don't like them. First I'll go with the non-clothing related stuff. I got three nail polishes this month. First one I'm in love with. This one's actually on my nails right now, if you can see that. And it's Essie Beyond Cozy. It's a really pretty um, glitter with uh, gold and silver in it. And then I bought two of the Essie Repstyle collection ones. And I don't like them. I bought them online though so I can't return them because I bought them for $8 instead of 11 something. This I got for 6 instead of 8 So I bought... Little Bo Peep and uh, Little Bo Peep and Snake Rattle and Roll, and they are too similar. Like I thought they would be a little bit different than each other, but they're fairly similar. And the magnet is kind of funky, so I'm not a huge fan. I might have just got it with, like a defective magnet. So here are some more, which is one of my favorites, and some Bath and Body Works Triple Body Lotion. And I got this because I had a 20% off coupon, so it cost me $10 instead of $12.50. But um, I had a coupon buy one product, you get one free, but I couldn't pull it up, so I'm going to go and get more of these, because I have the coupon now. Okay, and I got these this month. These were a dollar each from Forever29.com, just like glittery, no pads, the back's not glittery, but it just looks like this. Uh, I'm going to start with shoes, what I bought. I'll show you what I got from Daily Look. So one of the regret purchases this month, which isn't really a regret, I bought it for a certain reason. So just this white, um, plain long sleeve v-neck. I just don't think I'll ever wear it because I'm not really into white. I bought this because um, I wanted the sandals I'm going to show you. And I had $20 like credit towards Daily Look, which is awesome. I'll explain that in a minute. So I got that and these sandals. For eight bucks and shipping's five ninety five, so that's including shipping. So it was like three bucks. So yeah, these are the sandals. They're kind of uncomfortable. They're not uncomfortable, but they get blisters the first day. So I haven't tried them since, but they're cute. They have like a tri wieldy print, and they have a slight wedge. How I got the twenty dollar credit at Daily Look is every single day I go on Daily Look. Um, I think it's. You put in outfits every every 36 hours, but I go up every single day and I like the outfits from my Facebook. And that way um, I get 10 points for each thing I like. And you can get up to 50 points a day for liking things or sharing them on Twitter, etc. So I liked all the outfits. So I get that and I get 10 points for logging on. So it's 60 points a day. You get 2,000 points, you get a $20 credit to the store. So I did that. I'm doing it again. I think I'm up to 600 points now. So... Yeah, that's how I got those for only $8. You purchase I made this month and the only other one. It's from Bongo. Um, and they're an eight and a half. And I got they're originally $59.99. I got them for $21.19 with tax and shipping. It was free shipping because I got them at the store. And the style is ponder in black. And it's 20235. This is what the shoe looks like. I've already worn them three times and they are so comfortable. I've never had any problem with that yet. It's got like a really good bottom and it's good grip the wedge is comfortable the shoe overall is comfortable the only thing I don't like is that this is brown and not black but um, I dealt with it because of the good price and just everything about this shoe is awesome and it's like a mix between a booty a sneaker and like a combat boot so I really like this I'm going to show you guys the regret purchases of this month um, let me do these ones first I got three that I'm, that are hung up. So one of this is this vest, even though it's a good deal and it's a it only cost me seventeen eighty I think. I just don't know if I'll ever wear it. I've worn it once and I was just like not comfortable in it. Like it fits well, but I just don't feel it fits my style. But maybe if I learn how to style this, I'll keep it. Yeah, that's one of my regret purchases. And this is yeah, but it's a good deal. It's from Forever Twenty One. This, I bought for a specific reason, um, but I don't like the way it fits on me, but I'm actually reselling it because I had, um, Delia's had three graphic tees for $10 or $12.99 each, 
and I really wanted two Hello Kitty graphic tees. So this is the third one I bought just to have um, the extra one so I can get it for $10. So yeah, just high-low, slightly cropped. It just does not flatter me. It's cute if it's a tank top or a flattering t-shirt, but I don't like it on me. This I ordered online. It was only $4.99, so I was like, oh, that's cool. And it's got the cold shoulder, and it's coral with stripes. It's high-low, one of my favorite things, but the armpit. Look at that armpit. That is just the weirdest thing. So uncomfortable. I just, yeah, that I don't like. Okay, I'm going to show you all the items, and then I'm going to show you them on. So, some of these items are things I got for Hanukkah with my Hanukkah money, and that's a majority of it because I spent $80 um, at the mall the other day, and that was all my Hanukkah money. Um, one of the things was the Bunth Body Works lotion, and you'll see the other things. So, my rest of the purchases I made this month were colds, I'll show you first. <laughs> I got these shorts, um, these candy shorts, and they're size 5, and they were on the clearance rack for four dollars so then um clearance is actually 25 percent off and then my discounts so these are four dollars on the clearance rack then i got this skirt and i already have floral skirt but this one has a bigger floral print it's just a bodycon skirt and this was 240 and the clearance is an extra additional 25 percent off i got this online because i didn't have it in store so it's just a um, little like bralette, and what the heck is all on this? I get like stuff on everything when I'm trying to film a video. Okay, that looks better. And it just has the thicker straps, which I like. It's I got a medium, so my chest is covered, and the zippers zippers down, but it's not real. Alright, I forgot to mention this is by the brand Speechless. The First shorts were by Candies, the skirt was by Lily Rose, and this was um, originally 18 I got for $5.99 on sale, not on clearance. This is the next shirt I got, it's just a little lightweight um, sweater, and it's by the brand Sew, so, and I believe this was $7.40 on the clearance rack, then 25% off. This is what it looks like on, it's just a lightweight sweater, not for that. Okay, and the last item I bought from Kohl's this month is this sweater which I'm in love with. I just hope it gets cool enough for me to actually wear it anytime soon. But it looks like this. It's by the brand. So it's a size small. It's originally 36 and they had it on sale for $14.99. Then I get my discounts. So yeah, it's the perfect length. It's not too long. It's not like a tunic. It's not a crop sweater. It just looks like this it has stars. And stars are like super popular now. Um, yeah, they have a whole bunch of different prints. They have one with skull on it. They have like um, hearts, etc. Just looks like this. So, unfortunately, I got this like last week and I've been wanting to wear it, but it hasn't been cool enough. So this is a pretty heavy sweater. I don't really have any sweaters. I have like thin little nothings. I have like three sweaters. This is my third one. So yeah, it looks like this one. I really like it. It's comfortable. Cute, um, and it was cheap, so yeah, it's got like the double layer, so you see the white through as well. You can see on the other side, it's got the white. And I have two purchases from Forever 21 that were not part of my um, trip that I spent my Hanukkah money, so I'll show you those first. First is this um, burgundy plain v neck, and I'm not gonna wear it, try this on because I don't want to wear it over white just because um, it did bleed a little bit. So, as you can see, when I washed it, you can see the lettering has like red in it now. But it's just a plain little, it's not really a scoop neck, but it's not a crew neck. It's like in between. I really like the color, so I got it anyway. And it was only $6.80. It's like this. This, um, little flannel. And it's from the Love, um, I Love H81. And, um, the other shirt was small. This one's a medium, because I like my flannels to be a little bit bigger. And they fit better in the chest and the arms. So I'll try this one on for you guys. And this one was like $19.99, I think. And then I got a, um, I had a coupon for 21% off. So it was $15.72. It might have been um, $18.99. I don't remember exactly. And it's really soft and warm like an actual flannel. Not like one of those cheap, like, girly flannels. Dang it. 
It's like a green and um, black. It's a really pretty green. So that's why I got it. My boyfriend liked it too, so. Okay. And the rest of these purchases were from my Hanukkah money that I spent the other day at the mall. Uh, belt. And it just says hearts all the way down for the holes where you put the belt loops. And I got this in a small medium and it's 380. And it's a waist belt. So on it would look like this. Of course, I wouldn't wear it with a tank top. This is just for me to try on everything. So I got this belt. So I needed a few new waist belts. It was on my list of things I needed. Then I got um, this one, and it was also 380, and it's small. And it's just a little plain light brown one with a gold buckle. I wish it was silver, but they don't have any brown and silver. This looks like this on. Cute. Okay. Next item I got is this Forever 21 cardigan. You already saw. It's just a mint and white stripe, and it has the thinner stripes on the sleeve. And it's about a half sleeve. I'll try it on for you guys, though. So it's a cardigan, and I wore it the other day, and it's so cute. Um, and this was $7.99. This is actually not part of my... Hanukkah money because this one I ordered online with that other striped shirt. So you guys this one on. It's nice. It's like a little bit oversized. So I got a small. Usually I get a medium and a cardigan. It's like this on. And the back. The original price for this was I think I kept the tag for you guys. I guess I didn't. Um, actually, I did. There we go. This was originally $15.80. Okay. The only thing Forever 21 I'm keeping that I got in store besides the belts is this shirt. It's like a baseball style tee. It's very lightweight and it's got coral and then light pink sleeves. And this one was $11.80 and I got in a size small. Maybe it says the colors. Coral, pink, and gray. Yeah, it has gray on the collar. I forgot about that. For me, at least. The next item I got is from the store, um, Papaya, and I got two items from Papaya, and they were both on their clearance rack, so this was originally, I'm not sure, but it was on sale for $9, I think the original price was ripped off, and it, it's a small, and I've been interested in, like, the faux leather accents, this is a faux leather pocket, and then it has faux leather, like, cutouts along the sleeves, which I've been interested in something like that, but I haven't found anything I liked, but this one's really cute, it's got a high low hand. Back is just plain. What the shirt looks like on. It's cute, casual. Um, I don't think it'll wear a tank top underneath this though, but for the purpose of this video, there is one. The next shirt I purchased from Papaya as well. I'm not going to try on because it's so cropped and I'm not sure what outfit I'd style with this yet. Quite high waisted skirt and it's cute. It was only four bucks and um, let's see, it has the original price, I think. It was originally. $6.99, which is still good for something like this. So, yep. And I think it says the compare at. Compare at prices $10, which mo I've seen things like this at like American Apparel and they're so expensive. But it's like a basic crop top with a regular neckline, cat's kind of sleeve, and the back dips a bit, which I really like. And um, it looks so good on. I just need to. Dang it. I just need to um, pair with the right skirt, high waisted skirt, maybe even the um, floral one that I got at Kohl's. So. Okay, next store 
I bought things at Rodelia. So I got two Hello Kitty shirts um, to go along with that third one. This shirt I've had before, but it was a little bit um, duller. This was more faded. Um, these were like more faded, but um, I realized I do actually like it. I got this in a medium um, instead of a small that I had before. See if you, the price is $12.99 on it. So I was gonna pay $12.99 for one or two. I'm gonna get three for 10 and so that's what it looks like. Probably won't wear anything underneath it so you wouldn't see this thing going on. It's just a Hello Kitty shirt. I think it's a little less out there and crazy than most Hello Kitty shirts because it's um not just a giant, it's giant Hello Kitty, but it's not anything, um, I don't know, I just like the face more than anything. And I like the detail on the sleeve and the back of Hello Kitty. It's like a little, um, jersey style, I guess. But then the one I really liked is actually a large. So, um, because they didn't have anything else left. So I guess they were all bought out. Except the British flag one that I'm selling off, so... This is the size large, but so cute. It's just a tank top and it ties at the bottom and it's got Hello Kitty on it with the American flag, like sunglasses and bow. This is what it looks like on, and I know it's big. It's, cause I usually wear a small, but it was okay because I really do like this. And it's really cute. Okay, Cotton Almond's having a huge sale. I'm probably gonna go back to Cotton Almond when I return my Forever 21 shirt. They were having like a huge crazy sale. Nothing was over 20 bucks in their store, or is nothing over 10. I don't remember, but it, everything was cheap. I got this shirt. I wish I had a small, because the extra small was too tight. Medium is a little large, but it's okay. So I got the medium. I was on sale for five bucks. And the size of being five bucks, everything in the store was 30% off. So an extra 30% off. It looks like this, just a um, plain like sheer. Little button up. It doesn't have a collar, but it's okay because when it's folded over, it looks like a collar. So it looks like on. Then I fold over the collar like this. Back looks like this. The last item I got was super, super awesome deal. Last one in the store. It's like a skater style dress. It's got the flowy bottom, the twirls. It's got a cute cap sleeve. Um, fitted in the chest area, and it's a size small. Last one in the store is originally $24.95, and it was on sale for 10 and then I got it for 7 bucks. It's really cute. I'm going to try this one on for you guys. Okay, here's the dress. Um, I actually did not own a little black dress. It's been on my list for so long. I'm trying to find the perfect one that was not too tight. I like this kind of style because my hips are a little bit bigger, and I don't want them to be showing off, and I have love handles, and... I do have the bumps going on on the side, so something like this is way more flattering for me. And I am tinier, but it's still, it's not as flattering on the side. I wear like a bodycon style dress. With a skirt, um, I sometimes am comfortable with it, but dresses I'm never comfortable with, like bodycon style dresses. But this one fits perfect. Um, it's got like little seaming right here. The width of the band fits exactly at my waist which is awesome usually when I get dressed like this the waist is like a little too short a little too long it fits exactly there so it fits pretty much perfectly the length is perfect just everything about this dress is perfect for me I've been on the hunt and I finally found the perfect dress and I'm so happy about it and it was an awesome deal I would have spent up to 25 30 bucks um, on a black dress I mean it's not too fancy either, so I can wear this out to a nice dinner, give it to a uh, family dinner, something like that. Or I can dress it up and wear it to a party with heels, a spark, something sparkly, etc. Oh, and the back zips down a bit, which I really like. I think it's very flattering. Then it looks like. Very flattering. It has room right here if I eat too much or something. It's a lot of room on the bottom. And it's perfect, pretty much. Thank you guys for watching. And I am, I know the month is not done, so I'll probably add more to this haul eventually. It will not be the same video, though, because I want to get this up as soon as possible. I already know tomorrow I'm going to the mall just to use my Bath & Body Works and Yankee Candle coupons. So one's like a buy one, get one free product at Bath & Body Works. Then the small jars are 50% off with the coupon at Yankee. And then the small tumblers are 2 for 10 at the moment. So those two I will be looking out for at the mall. 
So, and then I'm going to the mall that I have my Hanukkah stuff. So I can return the Forever 21 shirt, which I'll exchange for something else. I also want to stop back at Cotton On and see if they got anything else in for their sale. And then I'm going to Bath & Body Works to my annual sale, which starts the 26th of this month. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.